I'm only working about how to repair and how to rebuild the city on the city. And this image is very important. It, it's, I can stay a, a bit on this image because it's better than all the others. Uh, it explains all the constraints that are um, uh, on Grenoble. And all these constraints are um, all the positive things that make this city going a bit faster than the others would be, uh, than some others in France, uh, towards a sustainable attitude. Because of these mountains around, because of this uh, land which is very rare, because of the water table which is enormous, which, because the temperature in the winter, the temperature in the summer is about 50 degrees between the winter and the summer. <coughs> because of uh, all these constraints uh, and the climate constraints, with the sometimes the clouds going <coughs> on the valley and the pollution is rising, etc. We are um, obliged, we, are, we have to be more sustainable, but uh, we try to be more sustainable in an integrated approach, of course. Uh, we try to make all these different things working together and not to have a, a, a specialist uh, approach because uh, the, specialist, the specialized approach from the past uh, are um, a big part of our problem today. <laughs> and what I wanted to, to say again is is uh, also um, now these days we we are a lot found of uh, innovation everywhere innovation innovation but uh, I, I would want, I would want to say also that uh, um, sometimes innovation of now is the problem of tomorrow you know and uh, that's what we are doing in, in Vana, trying to repair the innovation of uh, about 30 or 20 years ago which is not so far. Um, so everybody know where it's going up in the Alps, near Lyon, uh, surrounded by this three chain of mountains. Uh, the agglomeration is about 400,000 people, but the city of Grenoble is the little uh, red uh, spot in the center, very, very small space and very dense, of course, well, one of the highest density in, in France. And uh, I'm working only on this little spot, red spot here. But of course, we we try to uh, talk with uh, everybody working on this uh, urban uh, strategy. Uh, this is uh, a photo to show. There's also two rivers uh, in the city. You saw, uh, you see at the north. The, the mountain, the Chartreuse mountain, can go right in the city, it's part of the city, you can go with the mountain by foot. But um, you should know that Grenoble is not a ski resort in the mountain, as a lot of people think. Grenoble is very low, Grenoble altitude is 210 meters. And there is mountain everywhere around, and you can go skiing in 30 minutes, but it's really a city uh, flat down the valley and with all these constraints I talked about. But it's also a city that has grown too fast. In the last 15 years, uh, this city uh, has doubled or, or, or almost three times its size. And if you uh, compare to the beginning of the uh, 20th century, the size of the city in, in 100 years has become uh, 10 times what it was. So the global landscape is made of uh, many things. People used to say it's not a nice city because the uh, landscape around is so nice um, perhaps the ones who have uh, developed these cities have forgot to take care about what they are doing and 
So that's why now we're trying to repair everything. It, it, it's quite difficult. Because we have a, an enormous, uh, how do you say in English, uh, heritage is the wrong word, I think. It's sort of heritage of uh, this uh, thinking, um, domination of this thinking in the 50s, 60s of uh, functionalism, big road, Olympic Games in 68. It was by the time of the modernity where the car, the highways, and a lot of highways have been built in Ghana, all inside, along, etc. And we have been in a sort of big urban rupture. Uh, the, the, the theme we worked on in the urban class a few years ago. And we, we are also making a uh, big bridge in the center of the city for cars, etc. So we have started to repair everything in this uh, big city with all this uh, uh, modernity from the past. So, uh, we have also another particular idea. There is many, many, it's a positive particularity. We have many students, around 60,000. 60, and we have also a, a, a big uh, resort for research. Uh, and you see the circle, which is the accelerator of the neutron. And uh, there is a lot of search, research, searcher. Many, many nationalities working in Ghana, engineers, etc., coming from about 50 different countries. So that's a good aspect. You can see here the two rivers and the mountains. And uh, here is also the, the other sense of heritage the, the old city, which started, uh, as you saw on the last maps, it's not a city uh, that grows uh, you know, by a circle like every city in the uh, Ampil. This city has started at the bottom of the mountain and has always grown throughout the south. So this is very interesting because we, we can see every uh, step of this uh, growing. And the heart of the city is remind the uh, medieval uh, uh, century. But it started with the Roman time. Like there's not many, many uh, things stay from the Roman times. Uh, I, I just tell you about, the, we try to have an integrated approach, but of course in, in an organization like the city of Ghana, um, there is still some uh, sort of uh, approach by uh, different uh, blocks. But we have developed this uh, education plan, which is very strong, the climate plan, cultural program, the social project is very strong also, and the public transport, and the um, energy plan, which is close to the payment plan. And in every project now, we try to uh, take uh, care about every aspect of uh, the, the, these subjects, so to try to be on an integrated plan. I'm going just a bit fast. Um, because I have the timetable to respect. Um, first thing to uh, work on an integrated approach is to always uh, think of a project in, 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 uh, in regard to the other's project. So we are trying to, to make um, sort of a master plan of the whole city and every project is a question and uh, how it's to other projects, how it's making uh, something, uh, a system with other parts of the cities, and how it's making all the city better, even if it's a small project. And as you can see, it's only work on uh, existing things, it's not the <coughs> same. Uh, the, the main action is to uh, reduce the car uh, space and the car. Uh, problems because because of its position in the bottom of this valley there's only three entrants in this city in many cities you have many 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 entrants but in this one you have only three north east north west and south so that makes the problem of the cars uh, bigger and bigger and if you if you leave 
everybody take his car to, to come to one up to work or to shopping, culture, etc. It doesn't work. It can't work. So that's why the tramway has been reconstructed uh, in this city uh, in the <coughs> 80s. And I said reconstruct, of course, because you know that in all our European cities we, we used to have tramway. We have destroyed them and put cars and highway, and now we put tramway again. So we trying to. Uh, Again, this innovation can be the problem, etc. And uh, when I visit some cities in Eastern Europe where there is wonderful tramway from the 19th century, 18th century, and they tell me that they want to put it down, <laughs> how can I say no? No, don't keep it. It's, it's gold to have a tramway line because today it's, it's a huge cost. To, to build the tramway line. And uh, it's more and more difficult for us because this city is not so big. The, the, the money from uh, the state now doesn't come anymore on the tramway, so we have to manage uh, ourselves to build new line of tramway. But we carry on and we are building uh, <coughs> a, a fourth line, a, a fifth line um, next year to. to uh, to um, take this um, uh, transport uh, system more and more uh, efficient because we are we need it and we also develop a train station around Venlo and we try to reduce 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 the space for the cars because the, the uh, we, we we have now we know now that the only thing we can do reduce the car uh, in the city and coming to the city is uh, to uh, reduce the space because uh, after many many uh, time we have tried to convince people not to take the car but it doesn't work the only thing is if you can't come with your car you can think about taking uh, another way of uh, coming in the city so by train, by bus, by tramway, by bicycle, of course, etc. The city is flat. We develop a lot the bicycle. We develop a lot the uh, green space because, as I told you, the city is very dense. So um, we, we are a city that traditionally um, do a lot of participation on every project, public project, private project, and there's also.